What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Ice Bear. Today we got a mystery box and um, has a bunch of different stuff in it. Anything from possible baits to reels. We have no idea what it was. Um, basically, what was it on eBay? Yeah, we bought on eBay. The seller wanted $50 for including shipping. So uh, we went out and bought that and hopefully there's some good stuff in it. So hopefully guys, if this thing is good enough, this could be a possible giveaway that we'd be doing. We're gonna do a link, put it down there in the description for you as well. But uh, we're just gonna take things out one by one. We're not gonna look into it and uh, hopefully see what we got. Let's see, always cut away from you. Right, don't look in there, we're gonna take out things one by right. one. Whatever you touch first, that's the first thing you have to pull out. And don't, don't even look. See. Don't even look. Don't even look. I, I see you kind of peeking. Alright. Ready? Keep it just like that. I don't even want to see. First thing, you're, you're touching everything. Let's go. Pull it out. Boom. Right there. Nice spinner. Neon colors. Nice little propeller on it. Court's looking. She's like, alright. Court, does it look like it's worth the money so far from what you can see? I don't know much about fishing, but, but is there a lot? I think so. All right, cool, cool. So this, the quality doesn't seem to be all there. It's kind of with the Walmart brand. They got the little rubber band on it, holding in the little uh, fins that they put on. I like the propeller though, it's nice and big. The propeller is nice and big. Definitely First thing, okay, pretty much same thing, white. Um, jig. Yeah. It's, it's a weedless jig though. That is actually kind of nice. Yeah. But same thing with the it's band. White colors. Can't really see it too well. All right, boom. We got a shad. This thing definitely got some weight to it. Feel the heaviness to it. Never seen this brand before. It's an all metal piece. All metal, let me see. Oh yeah, this thing is heavy. <laughs> this is gonna be for some deep, deep water. Oh yeah, that thing gets Most snagged definitely. on everything. So, all right, just your regular crankbait, regular crank. Lips not too big. This got stuff, some nice this colors stuff's got to it. dust all over it. Seems like an old. <laughs> <laughs> got I mean, some nice colors. Got some nice though. colors. We'll see. Never heard of that brand either. No, these are going to be all brands that we have. This is probably a box that they went to a. Uh, what am I trying to say? Like a flea market or something? Got tons of cheap stuff. And got a nice little swim drag. Looks like a minnow. That'll definitely be nice. Give that a nice little try. Oh yeah, it's not bad. I don't know how that swim though. That doesn't look. Yeah, we'll have to put it just laughing. Corey, you want to say hi? No. Oh Jesus, this thing's a monster. That thing's nice though. A lipless crank. Got some really good color to it. No, the color is great. This thing's big. That could be a potential big bass. Oh yeah. All right, pull out something small huh? here. <laughs> All right. Any real? You can be. So we got a spoon. Spoon is definitely cool. Don't do much fish with spoons. But hell, we'll give it a try. Not bad. Spoons are tough. Okay. Two. These are just regular spinners. Yeah. Yeah. Those are just spin baits. Two. Another white. one with a giant propeller on it. Came with two and one. Two and one. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Two big, yep, two big propellers. Not bad. White's always a good color. All right. Use the white in the clear. Darker colors and dirty water. Got some hooks. I do like these hooks. I use them a lot. Here, I see two more hooks. Just pull them out. Pull them out. Yep, there you All go. Right. So we got a bunch of hooks, different Ooh. sizes. You got 10, 10, 5 oh, yeah, and 10 again. So those are definitely gonna be some good hooks. Definitely put them to use. Oh, well, we got a couple, but these are just, um, look like shiny crawfish Grubs? Grubs? I don't know. Yeah, they're definitely Very tiny. Grub side. Silver grubs. I don't, I don't like the look of those, to be 100% honest with you. Yeah, those seem like the best. Yeah, you do that, I'm going to take one of these out quick. All right. Oh. Got another. Not quite sure what that is, because it's all bunched up. I'll take Here, one take out. Here, take it. Yeah, take one out. Dude, what a yeah, mess. These are more grubs. This one has 
kind of like a squid look to it. They got a little hole on the inside too for you to run it through. I don't know if we'll be using much of these. Yeah, these things are weird. <laughs> Very dinky. Yeah, even, even the feel, I mean. Yeah. All right, let's just grab this. All right, what are these? Finesse baits, just another weird color to them. I'll pull another one out, let you guys see. If you wanna grab the next yeah. one. Keep this going, we don't want right. it to be too boring. Preferred plastic custom baits, four straight tail natural worms. So they got the natural look to it. Toss that on. Definitely probably catch some. Oh, it's just a regular crawfish almost. Those aren't bad. Those could actually get some bites. Yeah, they are crawls. There's some big crawls. Kind of like they're hollow on the inside. Hollow on the back side. Yep. Hollow on the back side. All right. Not bad. Yeah, let's find a box. Let's keep it. So here we go. All right. Oh, jeez. That's a big lip. That's a deep dive. Here we got another crank. Nice color on that. Kind of got like a crawfish color almost. Yeah. Oh, the dust though, this thing is just... Oh, got another box. What is this? What on oh, earth? earth? <laughs> a war mouth golden shiner. That's what I was looking at. This thing is ridiculous. Then you got the hook right there for her. You can put a treble hook in and it's got another hook on the top. Here, pull, pull that out for him. Let them thing see that. Eight dollars. Let's see what this is. Eight bucks. Oh, I got two things, Braxton. We're gonna, all right, another hook. We're gonna, this thing, holy shit. Definitely weird. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys need any hooks? Come. It's an all the box up, dude. That would be such a pain. That is that. I have never seen anything like this one. That's gonna have to this, have its own separate video. This is crazy. We're gonna make a video of trying to fish with this. Dude, what on <laughs> earth would even grab this? Well, I got the treble hook right here. What What <laughs> on earth would eat this? It's supposed to be a uh, golden shiner. Four and three fourths. Even the eyes, dude, they just... This is the weirdest thing the I've ever seen. treble hook that comes on it. Wow, that, that is right, interesting. Let's see. Imagine we get like we a, got some clear grubs. Not much use for clear. I, I've never used it. Don't know how it's gonna work. Definitely give it a try. Yeah, all this stuff is tribal. But probably make a whole video of us just fishing with what's in this box. Fishing, yeah. With what we like, I said, guys, in the last video, we have a lot of stuff planned. So this could be a video in itself. A nice spinner, a big one, purple, good for the uh, murky waters and stuff like that. Right, let's see, another spinner, it's uh, by Bill Haddock it says, that's the colors, definitely going to be a good one to try, I like to fish with spinner baits. Yeah, spinners are always good. Let's see. Okay, it looks like some of those, same thing as the purple one. Good color on them, I like them. But uh it's got that spice pumpkin color look to it. Yeah, it's got a nice color. I'll pull it out for you guys to see as well. But uh I don't know how much of this little stuff we're really gonna be using. Finesse baits. This one's at least a little bit bigger than the other one. But it could be a good try. So these are some finesse baits. You can kinda see it right there. You know, these might be alright to put on the uh spinners to be honest. For a little trailer. Maybe. These finesse baits are salted, it looks like. Yeah? Yeah. We got some type of sugar coating on it. Just another crawl. Something like that. Definitely some weird stuff in this. Ooh, we got some good colors right here. They look like salamanders almost. Yep. Probably exactly what it is. We'll pull one out, show you guys. I think it's probably just a regular salamander type look. It's like a mix of everything on here. It really looks like a goldfish. <laughs> More yeah, of these. There's no grub. point in taking this out. It's just a bunch of different stuff in here. It's a creature crawl, it says. 
very dark colors. A bunch of soft plastics in this box. Okay, some more soft plastics. Looks like a black salamander. You guys won't see that too well. That's a Mustang outside. All right, here's a brand that I've had heard of. Some Berkeley, Berkeley Havocs. Some good colors to them. No, those are nice. I like the blue. Those would be good to fish with. Something finally useful. Yeah. I mean, see. All right, just a regular deep red crush curly tail. Soft just plastic. Just some soft plastic. Easy mess. More grubs. They're all the same thing, so they're not. No point in really taking them out, but for you guys to see, these are the bigger version of the other ones. They just keep getting bigger for that. It's a weird style. But very weird. Okay, these are definitely salted. Just some more soft plastics. Anytime Slayer curly tail. That's what these things are called. What are you laughing at? This is for some panfish. It said this was a bass box only. <laughs> I don't know what the hell these things are. Very unique. Like I said, with this box, it does seem like they went to like some big sale and all right, salted, pretty much the same exact thing. Lots of stuff. Lots of some weighted hooks. A bunch of random ones. Don't tell us what weights they are. They're not really hooks that I'd be using. Kind of small. They're really the same bag as this last one. This is more of whatever they want to call this. Watch out, there is a hook in there. Ah, finally. Some of the pointed weights. Those are good for Texas rigs. Yep. Always good to have those. Um, no hooks, nothing. Looks like you can just build a spinner bait with no hook. More weighted hooks. These ones are a lot bigger. Those are nice though. Always good to use. Put some type of rigging on it. Then we got what it looks like to be a small purple salamander. Ish, not really. I didn't realize how long those things were. Good color though. And then more different patterns for um, putting on a spinner, it looks like. They got the little slots in them. Let me pull one out for you. So you got these. You kind of got a hole. But you can put the hook through. A little tail wagon for it. Definitely some weird stuff. I would not say this box was worth the $50. Uh, probably not worth the $50 at all. But uh, we're gonna lay everything on the table for you guys and show you exactly everything that we got all together. So here is now everything all together. Total of 41 items. So it leaves almost a dollar and change for everything. That would be there. So not the best stuff, not the, not exactly stuff that we would recommend. But for the price, I mean, I guess it's not as bad, but it's really not worth it. It's a lot of weird bits. All right, guys. So overall, was it really worth it? Probably not. Um, expect if if you're a beginner and want some random stuff, bulk on, and bulk up on a lot of items. I mean, you don't know what you're gonna get. This is probably, like I said, something to where someone went to a flea market and put it together. I mean, on some of the stuff, you can literally feel the dust on it. So a lot uh, of it came from preferred plastics. Never heard of that brand. So, and what was it? The only Havoc. It was the only brand that we've known. Yeah. Besides mustard, you got some mustard hooks and some of the better hooks over here. But uh, other than that, I mean, is the stuff all gonna be terrible? We don't know. We're going to try and use it all probably for a video now. Yeah, definitely going to fish with it. And, uh, yeah. But if you guys do want to see this again, we can do something like this. Get a different box. Or we can do something crazier. If you guys have anything in mind, just leave a comment. So, yeah. But we appreciate all of you guys so far that have subs to the channel. It means a lot to us. Like I said off the last video, at 50 subscribers, we're going to be doing a giveaway announcement. And uh, our idea was actually to do this box. I don't think that's going to happen. Anymore. Our fans deserve better. So, uh, yeah, you want to say anything else? No, that's all we got for today, but uh, we're definitely going to make a video. Definitely fish with a lot of this stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys. We can catch. Keep fishing. 
Thanks for subbing. Tell all of your friends. I'll see you later. What's up, guys? My name's Kyle. I'm from My Spare Fishing. Today I got my uh, this month's Mr. Tackle Box. I'm gonna open it up and see what's inside. Always comes with a nice little ruler if you want to do the little Instagram challenge. See how big your fish is with anything that you caught and it submits you to win free stuff for gear. Always good and cool to do that. Then you get your little pamphlet about everything. And here it's the what's inside. Tells you everything, all the prices that it goes for. So first up, we got a Swim Max jig. Nice little pumpkin color. Second up, we got the amazing bait from Carl's. It's a crank bait. Looks really good. Big lip on that. Next, we got seems to be a jerk bait. Spinner shad. Nice little color there. This is like a jitterbug or topwater bait. Strike Pro. Never seen anything like that. Good little colors on those. Then we have a uh, another spinner bait. Right, it will send some good products here. Got some little grubs. Pro Series Zone Learners. Got some nice little grubs. Could probably use them as a trailer. Like crawlers. Bass Dynasty. Don't know what kind of bugs those are supposed to be. Very cool, I've never got those before. Biosense sent some stuff. Looks like a red shad color almost. And of course you get their sticker. Welcome board message. This is their elite box, so it's their biggest box that they have to offer. It retails for $39.99. I got it cheaper using a code from Code Becca from Fishing with Becca. So if you guys want to use her code, help her out. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's uh, this month's box. The whole value of the box, uh, everything in there. Um, the Spin Red Shad was $10.99. The Strike Bro Pro Swing Pop was $10.49. The Catch Outdoor Zero Gravity, that was $9.49. Carl's Amazing uh, Sh Shiver Crank was $6.99. The Bass Dynasty Craw, that was $5.99. The Riot ba Baits were $4.99. The Bio Spawn were $4.99. The Stanley Jig, that was 461 and the X owners were 299. So that's the whole list right there. The whole value of the box added up to 6143. So it's definitely worth the money for just paying $39.99. So if you guys want, go give Mystery Tackle Box a try. Definitely worth it. And that's all we have for you today.